try to get your mind to settle down right here with the breath. It's one of the few things in life that we really can control if we put our hearts to it. Because you look around you and even your family you can't control. Your house you can't totally control. You have some control over these things, but as you stay with them longer and longer you find how little that control really is. And yet we spend so much of our time trying to control things outside where we don't really pay much attention to what we can control, which is where the mind is focused right now. It has the freedom to choose where it's going to focus, what it's going to think about things, how it's going to look at them. One of the reasons we train it this way is to take advantage of that freedom of choice. Learn how to do it well, and learn how to do it in a way that really does come to our own advantage. That we keep the mind in a good state regardless of what things are happening outside. And even with regard to things happening in the body. Because again, there's parts of the body you can control and other parts you can't. The parts that get old don't ask permission first and they don't send warning ahead of time. All of a sudden you're just fine. Well, this doesn't work quite as well as it used to anymore. Or things don't heal as quickly as they used to. And that's just kind of bit by bit by bit, as, as John Lee would say. The king of death is sending his emissaries to let you know ahead of time things are not going to be this way all the time. So you take that warning and you focus on what can be under control and which does not have to be subject to the king of death, and that's your mind. So work on training the mind. If it wanders off, just bring it right back. Wanders off, just drop whatever it is you're chasing, and you'll find that you're right back here with the breath. And at the same time, make the breath comfortable so the mind likes being here. The mind doesn't like being here, it's going to find all sorts of reasons for slipping off again. So you give it reasons to stay here, a sense of ease, a sense of well-being. Breathe in in a way that feels really nourishing, both to the body and the mind. Then you find that you can control the mind a lot more easily. It's like that old story about the wind and the sun having an argument over which was more powerful. They saw this one man walking along the road, and the wind said, okay, well, see if we can get his clo clo cloak off. And so the wind just blew and blew and blew, and of course the more the wind blew, the more tightly the man hugged to his cloak. Then when it was the sun's turn, the sun just beamed, and of course it made it warm, and the man decided he didn't need to wear his cloak anymore, so he took it off himself. That's an example of skillful control. And learn how to apply that example to your own mind. Find ways of making it pleasant to stay right here, easy to stay right here. Don't go around creating unnecessary difficulties for yourself. And you find that at least this corner of the world, right here in your mind, that's something you can control. And the control you have over this is the control that's really important. Because once you can control this, then there's no need to suffer from anything else, no matter how out of control other things may be. If the mind is in control, you're okay. <laughs>